Hi, I'm Erica Hambungana, BS Midwifery, and I will perform surgical and medical hand washing. Hand washing with antimicrobial soap removes germs from hands. This helps prevent infection because people frequently touch their eyes, nose, and mouth without even realizing it. Germs can get into the body through the eyes and nose and mouth and make us sick. That's why hand washing is very important. This is the things we need to prepare for performing surgical hand washing. First, we have tissue paper for drying up our wet hands and elbows. Second, we have antimicrobial soap to kill germs from our hands. And lastly, suppose this is a scrub brush with no pick. Ensure the water runs comfortable hand, hot temperature, and steady flow to avoid splashing. For your pre-scrub, wash your hands and arm to elbow with running water and antimicrobial solution. Use the 7-step method. First, rub palm to palm. Second, rub the back of both hands. Third, interlace fingers and rub hands together. Fourth, interlock fingers and rub the back of the fingers in both hands. Fifth, rub each thumb clasped in opposite hand using rotational movement. Sixth, rub tips of the finger in opposite palm in a circular motion. Using a rotational movement, rub from the raise of the elbow of each arm. Then, rinse from the fingertips to elbow. Once the elbow has been reached, the hand must not go back to the other hand or wrist until after rinsing. Next, remove debris from under nails using a nail pick under running water. Ensure that you do each nail in torn off methodically. There is often debris hidden under the nails which is not visible at which the nail pick will find. After that, dispose the nail pick. Apply antimicrobial soap. Use the 7-step method of hand washing. Then, rinse your arms to elbow. Take the wet scrub brush and apply antimicrobial soap. Use to scrub your nails only. Dispose the brush, rinse your hands to elbow, and apply the 7-step method of hand washing, paying particular attention to palms, finger webs, and dowsome of the hands. This time, only wash the first two-thirds of your forearms and do not touch the elbow to avoid contamination. Wash for a further minute.
Then rinse your hands and arms from the fingertips to the elbow, allowing the water to flow to remove the scrub solution. Turn off the faucet by using tissue paper to move upward the faucet handle and dispose. Use tissue paper per hand, place one hand behind it and dry the opposite hand thoroughly by blotting the skin using a corkscrew movement to dry from your hands to your elbow. Repeat with other tissue to the other arm. Do not return the tissue to your dried hand and instead discard it into a waste bin. Next, I will perform medical hand washing. These are the things we need to prepare for performing medical hand washing. We have tissue paper and antimicrobial soap. Ensure the water runs comfortable hand, hot temperature, steady flow to avoid undue splashing. Wet your hands to elbow and apply some antimicrobial soap. Wash your hands using 7-step method of hand washing. First, rub palms together. Second, rub the back of both hands. Third, interlace fingers and rub hands together. Fourth, interlock fingers and rub the back of the fingers in both hands. Fifth, rub each thumb clasped in opposite hand using rotational movement. Sixth, rub tips of the finger and opposite palm in a circular motion. Seventh, using a rotational movement, rub from the wrist to elbow of each arm. Then, rinse from the fingertip to elbow. Once the elbow has been reached, the hand must not go back to the other hand or wrist until after rinsing. Use tissue paper per hand, place one hand behind it, and dry the opposite hand thoroughly by bluffing the skin using corkscrew movement to dry from your hands to your elbow. Repeat with other tissue to other arm. Do not return the tissue to your dried hand and instead discard it into a waste bin.